Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video, we added a link here to navigate to this uh, admin dashboard. Okay. And if I log out now, and let's register with a page filler. We are not admin, but we have the link to navigate the admin. And if I click, yeah, we protect that with the roles. But what I want is to show and hide this link if the user has the role admin. To do that, we need to access that the user roles and within Nurture.js, we can use the shared data, the share data between requests. And globally here, we have an example. So in Laravel application, this is typically handled by the Inertia, handle the Inertia request middleware. So if I open that, so let's open the handle the Inertia requests and here we have out user. So going to return the request user. And if I come here and if you have installed the view extension, navigate the inspect elements, go to the view and inside the inertia here we have props, out and refresh this. So props, out user, which is an object with all the details. Okay, and here we can add also the user roles. So if you go to the shared data, we have an example lastly here for the user, which is going to check if we have a user, it's going to return only the ID name and the email, otherwise the node. So let's copy that and do that instead. I'm going to remove this and paste that in, save, come here and let's refresh now inside the props of the user we have only the email ID and the name. Now to add the user roles, if you go in the Laravel permission package documentation, let's go to the basic usage. I want to get only the names and here we have a next method to get permission names and also get role names. And based on the name, I want to check if the user has their role name, for example, admin, if that has that role, I'm going to show this, otherwise I'm going to hide. So what I'm going to do in the, and the lineage request, I'm going to copy this and paste it down there and say out roles, or we can say out user roles. And now instead of request user only the ID name and email, I'm going to call this get role names. So copy that and paste it here. And the same for the permissions. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. And let's say permissions and also copy this name and paste it here. And with that, now if I save and let's go in our project and refresh inside the props out user, we have the email ID in the name. Also, we have permissions, which is an array, an empty array, and roles, an empty array. Now let's log out. And as we can see, we have dashboard here. And this is because if I open the welcome, so let's open. A welcome page, welcome view page. And this dashboard is going to show V if the page props of user is not null, but the out user is not null. And now if I refresh, we are logged out, but out user is an object with permissions and roles because we added out user dot roles. If we want, we can remove that, but I'm going to change this later. So for now, just I'm going to show you like this. 
and let's go and navigate manual with the login page and login as admin add the password here and refresh now inside the props out user we have roles which is an array with an item here which is admin a name admin okay if you go now to the shared data here we can access the shared data inside the script setup using the use page and access props out user or inside the template we can use the dollar sign page so this one we need access inside the template so let's go there and this is inside the admin so now in the authenticated layout so let's open that authenticated layout and here is the admin link and i'm going to show this so let's say v if the dollar sign page dot props dot out dot user dot roles and this is an array and in this array i'm going to say if this in this array includes the name admin so dot includes the name admin is going to return true or otherwise false if I do that and come here and refresh, yeah, we see that because we are admin. And if I log out and let's go navigate again, say inside the register and use the fake filler, we don't see that. Good. But for example, if we want to use somewhere else, this we can use, we can say also there sign page props of user roles include and so on and I don't want that so what I'm going to do inside the JS I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it composables and inside I'm going to create a new file and let's name it permissions.js and here I'm going to import that uh, use page which is a composable so let's import that import use page from inertia js slash view3 okay and then i'm going to export a function and uh, by convention composable function names starts with uh, use so in our case i'm going to say use uh, permission or use permission and let's return here what we want i'm going to create two methods inside and i'm going to say const and i'm going to name the first one as role which is going to expect a name here and it's going to return true or false based on that name so I'm going to say use page dot props dot out dot user dot roles and in that array includes the name is going to return true otherwise false so what we did it here props out user roles includes i'm going to do here and the same i'm going to do for the uh, permissions so i'm going to so i'm going to say const as permission and include includes the name and now let's return that so let's return the has a role and has permission very good and let's use now this composable in the authenticated layout so on the script i'm going to import first let's import the use permission and 
and that is going to come from the composables. slash composables slash permissions and then I'm going to destruct what we want here we, ret we have returned the has roles and has permission but in here I want only the has roles so I'm going to destruct the has role so const object destructing and say has a role which is going to be people with use permission and now we can use that in here so we can say v if has a role passing the name in our case admin and I think it's okay it's very easy we can use that in everywhere we want and if I save that go to the project and refresh we still have does show that because we are not admin very good we don't have any error and if I go and log out and log in now as an admin so let's say login with admin add the password and now we have that okay I think this is okay very good but what I want to change also is because as you can see if I log out in the dashboard we have a dashboard here and if I refresh also inside the props of user we have a user which is an object with uh, permissions null and roles null I want if we are not logged in I want to show the user null for that we need to change something here and that I'm going to do in the next video. So see you there.